This is Oakland, California. The owner of this property is not responsible for any theft or vandalism. The owner of this property is not responsible for any Lawlessness, crime, homelessness, police giving up, businesses closing. The police one gave of up. 30 residents having their car stolen last year. A 38% nah, increase in robberies, 23% increase in burglaries, and 44% increase in motor vehicle theft. In and out made history by closing their first store in 75 years due to the rampant crime happening at their Oakland location. With the Oakland Police Union calling for Oakland Mayor Shang Tao to resign, claiming the city has become an international embarrassment under her leadership and with many residents believing the police no longer have their back in the event of a crime and with the district attorney focusing on not incarcerating criminals many oakland residents believe they need new leadership to restore oakland to the cultural capital it once was target enslaved my ancestors a year ago target i'm black I'm a woman, and I'm a worker, and I'm queer. Target? So I've got four different oppressional systems already fighting against me. Yeah, I've been assaulted by a man. Um, he hit me five times in my face already. Five I got like, kidnapped and taken against my world. John what? met up with Bay Area native and investigative journalist Darren Stalkup to hit the streets and see what's really going on in- Yo, Oakland, I knew y'all was out there bipping and dipping, but hey, <laughs> I, I ain't know y'all was that bad to where y'all got the police quitting. That's kind of crazy, bro. And I like how it was rhyming right there. I had a real little Oakland twang going on. Kept a real P. Like, but look. There you go. How y'all get the police to quit, bro? That's kind of. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never going to Oakland. I, I always wanted to go to the Bay. But I don't know if I'm going to go to the Bay no more, bro. Stay well, man. In Oakland. Hey, look at that. Suspected fire right here. This thing is torn up. We got more and more mobile units people are living in. The homelessness is unending, literally. The Graffiti holes, on the wall, skid marks on the ground. Here. We need to be careful out here. What the f is that? The cops are trailing us. What the f is this corruption? No, he's just giving us an escort. He, he knows we're. So? Yeah, he knows we he's are. He's giving us an escort? Yeah. Right now, there's a cop following us. What's and, going on uh, here? Why are we the ones being followed? So, I don't know why we're being followed. W officer. Out criminal activity left, right, and center. A lot of the kids have hey, bro, now, so if, if I already know that's how Oakland getting down, and it's that crazy to where I need a cop to escort me without me even asking, I'll take that escort. Because it's this crazy out here. Keep me safe. When I'm walking around, I'm not looking for some 25-year-old guy with a gun. I'm, I'm, out here I'm looking for seven-year-olds with guns. Seven? <laughs> yeah. seven. I'm like, yeah, seven is crazy. Right, I love the way God Tyler moves. Hey, I definitely just ran around in front of a cop. I didn't need it. <laughs> he didn't do shit. We're headed to his giant crazy camp. We're gonna get out there early before things get shisty and dark. So we made our way to a massive homeless encampment directly next Damn. to the highway that would make you think that's worse than a ski country road. and not the richest area of the richest country in the world. We're going into the lion's den right now. We're gonna be cool, calm and collected. Mind our six. We wanna actually get some word on the street right now. I haven't seen a true vlog or documentary or really anything recently of what's going on here in Oakland. Every RV has like four Walter Whites, like eight Jesse Pinkmans. <laughs> Lots of flies, lots of human fecal matter. There's a ton of trash Ew. behind me right now. I did not know this became a human dumping ground. This is right by the freeway, right by the Burger King. Uh, looks to be oh, no, fire damage. That's nasty, bro. So they got all them homeless people just chilling right there. And they don't even come pick up the trash. They could just come, like, get them niggas a dumpster or something, bro. Like, ain't no telling what's in there. What up, fam? How you doing? This is a trash. Is anyone on the treehouse? Hi there. Is this your place right here? Uh, down here. Okay. Uh, how long you been out here? Oh, I've been in this for homeless in this area for about 2017. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Do they do many sweeps? Yeah. They don't do shit around here. I'm trying to figure out why we're in a like a first class city and you guys are living out here in poverty. You know. Between here to everybody. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Drugs. Too much party. And oh. I saw that slingshot. Is that for self-protection? <laughs> what? I know. No? Thank you for the money. Oh, yeah. oh it's someone else's? Hey, nah. Oh. She didn't get hurt you. You come on in. You sleeping here? This is where I'm going to be staying here. I'm What's with all these flies? Just the trash? No, it's flies. They're just flies. They're just everywhere out here? Everywhere out here. You use anything? Don't use anything, no. Nah. Well, we get 
Uh, well, you know, they help they help more out there with their people out there in San Francisco. That yeah. Berkeley, Berkeley's the same way. Berkeley helps the homeless. Yeah. Oh, boy, out here in Oakland, I don't know if there's too many of us or what's going on, but they just don't. They, to me, they don't give a crap. Yeah. They want what they want to do is they want to push us into a corner and hide us. But what they don't realize is, is that the problem is becoming really, 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 really big. No, have fun in the garbage. He likes slingshots? Yeah, I'm busy. Okay. Look at this, young Doug. And just walk with me for a second here, Darren. I just want to show the amount of trash right next to the main street. I don't understand why this is here. Why this is not swept up. Billions of dollars have been wasted only for the situation to get worse. I mean, trash, uh, unending yeah. trash, people living. 120? Yeah. 120 is Talk crazy. To boy, there's flies nonstop. The road is being used. So they're, so they're living right next to a freeway exit. Look at that. I mean, they give us look, just sit straight through them. As I would too. I mean, you gotta be smart and quick in these roads. Obviously, the smell is something you cannot experience through the camera, but you can only imagine 10, 20 years of living out here. No sewage, no running water. Feels like we're in a third world country. Tents on tents on tents, nonstop out here. Just keep in mind, it's parallel to functional streets. This stuff's being used on a daily basis. I mean, just all sorts of random shit, trash, tents, people in their cars right here, living life. Uh, it is interesting. I, I imagine not many people walk through here. Just begs the question, why isn't this trash been swept? Do they ever clean up the trash? Yeah, outside of the trash. Right? Yeah, full setup, trash, tents, freeway. Uh, it just baffles me that these streets are actively being used right now. Definitely interesting setup. I'm, I'm starting to get the uh, the feeling that no one hey, ever comes yo. out here, Darren. This is the epitome of neglect and abandonment. This is a uh, mecca for the destitute. Uh, yeah. Wanderers. I mean, look right here. We have trank needles right here. Look, three dogs digging through the rummage. Five I was wondering, was they kind of like scared of that? I knew they was going to pass by like some type of needle. There's too many people out there that said they on drugs for not passing the needles. Yeah, this is sad. He's, I think it's just free walking. Out of him. Man, this is sad. That'd be sick. Look at this. All these dogs out here. How long you been out here? Uh, Four or five years. Is rent just too expensive or what? Yeah. Cuantos años vivía aquí? Like seven. Tu casa? Yeah. Seven. You built this all yourself? Yeah. All right, wow. You sleep in here? Not yet. Okay, got it. You're, you're I live in the trunk right now. This is the story everywhere. This is a common theme, not just in Oakland or San Francisco, the Bay Area, or all across California, but all across the country. We are seeing a major shift. Not only are we witnessing the uh, largest redistribution of wealth our country has ever seen, we are seeing the largest gap between the haves and the haves not. The middle class is dying and people are working uh, nine to five uh, living check to check. Tu trabaja aquí? No, a traer cámara, carne vengo a comprar. Ah, aquí? Uh -huh. ¿Es peligroso aquí o no? Bien es peligroso. Sí? Sí. ¿Por qué? Porque hay muchos delincuentes. ¿Y? Yeah. ¿Vagabundos? Vagabundos. Okay. ¿Cuántos años los campos uh, allí? Pues aquí eh, como uno, uno mínimo unos 20 años. 20 años? Por, ¿Por qué es posible uh, que vi, viven aquí? Porque la policía les admiten. Honestly, the country I grew up in is slowly but surely becoming unrecognizable. I'm not too sure if California is going to sink into the ocean or burn to the ground. We just walked through what might as well be little no. Libya. I mean, it was a cesspool, feces, urine everywhere. Ew. Trash, garbage. Um, it was absolutely horrible to see the quality of life in which our fellow Americans are living in. To the right of us, there is the red light district, unofficially. I didn't realize it, we saw two working girls. I would say we could go walk by. We could, you wanna? They might say hi, huh? They might say hi, they might tell us to off, we might get shot by a pimp. <laughs> well, real talk though, real talk. The pimps are definitely watching out here. Oh yeah. Let's just, why don't we turn around? <laughs> Actually, this is called right here. Why would he show a Question for you. Uh, you see these chicks working the streets every day? Yeah. Is it dangerous having your shop out here? The owner okay. Oh, he's strapped. I want to go to a uh, large on. encampment just a block down. It goes along the freeway. Yeah, right, more right than we do. Those guys yeah. ever give you any trouble? Yep. How do you phones. feel about Mayor Shang Tao, the mayor of Oakland? Should she be reelected or should a new leader step in? Right now, everything needs to change. Did you always have uh, 
the, the gunners, you kind of realize I need to protect myself out here. It's just tough running right now. Yeah. Put it that way. I believe yeah. it's necessary for law-abiding citizens to have the means and capability to defend themselves. As you know, all the criminals out here have guns, so um, I have no problem with you. And I yeah, actually machine feel guns. Safer. Machine guns? <laughs> I feel yeah, do you see yourself true. owning this business here in Oakland for a long time, or do you want to get out of here? 40 years already. 40 years? Yeah. When did you notice the shift, if any? Well... Maybe 10 years ago, 10 years. things got worse and worse, and now it's just ridiculous. Thing. Is the law enforced out here? Lawlessness. There's nothing out here. You think this is a good place to raise a family nowadays? No, no. definitely not. not no. Has anyone ever been uh, shot at this intersection or that intersection? Many times. Many times. Last week, four. Hey, Let's four. talk to the sheriff real quick. Uh, uh. Working girls on the streets right here and the sheriff. Let's say hi. Push for it. So is that legal right there? What? Uh, prostitution? Definitely in the city. Okay. Can't touch them. Can't touch them. They're victims. Uh, Human trafficking. That they need help. Exactly. I see. It's, all right. See you. That's uh. That's interesting. I guess we just go ask. And speaking of which, we got the ambulance right in front of us. Things are happening that's fast out crazy. here. Hey, that's DJ Fire Truck. That's DJ Fire Truck. DJ Fire Truck. Is it they got like a DJ this? Fire Truck. Uh, yes. Yeah. Gunshots. Ambulance. You can only wonder what has happened. We got. They're dancing. Sick. Oh. Wow. Oh, never mind. The fire truck turned them up. <laughs> Bro, some freaky fire truck, man. They turned the highs up. <laughs> Pointing at me just so you know, you can see it. All right, how are you guys doing, by the way? I'm good. It's okay. And even that cop, he said you guys were being human. No. No? This is very much by choice. Entrepreneurship? Uh, by choice, baby. Okay. We spoke to Luxury she and Tiffany earlier about doing a little interview. <laughs> Would you be interested? Now, while my last interview with the oldest professor yeah, in human history got the entire video demonetized, if you want to hear Alexis' story, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month on patreon.com slash Tyler Oliveira for early access to every video before it goes up on YouTube, extended cuts, uncensored moments like these, and DLC content that'll never be uploaded to YouTube. Help us go fully independent and continue to bring boots on the ground coverage to you that's not bought and paid for by shady corporate interests. And on our way out of the red light district, I saw this woman taping cardboard to what once was her window that appeared to have been freshly bipped. Question yeah. for you. I'm just wondering if your car got broken in. Hey man, I told y'all what they out there doing in Oakland. They out there bipping and dipping. You better watch out. Put your car out, bro. Nah, I can't say that. I can't say that because what if you ain't got nowhere to put your car out to? But look, you got to get them bulletproof windows or something. Yeah. <laughs> when did this happen? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. I was in the hospital. My brother had the car for me while I was in the Damn. hospital. Okay. I got my car back, and this is what it looked like. Yeah, I'm sorry that happened. <laughs> you could just, I don't know. These people just are, just don't care about other people's shit, really. Sure. Is this something you would file a pr police report for, or is it kind of no um, use? At this point, honey. <laughs> I, I didn't file a police yeah. report, and I'm sure Is my brother true? didn't. When people call 911 in Oakland, they get a voicemail, and they, they're they told oh, to leave a um, message. It happens. Yeah. They can either you get a voicemail call the or be put on hold. They don't have enough humans to answer the phone. And even if what are some, like, really, really, like, like death threatening is having it? And I call the police, and I get a voicemail? I'm gonna be heated, bruh. If a human does answer the phone, they're not gonna come for a couple hours. You better be dying. You know anyone else who's had their car broken into like this? Oh yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody. Uh, this is this isn't my first time going yeah. through this. So. How many times has that happened to you? I can't even count on two hands. I've had my car stolen two or three times, broken into. Oh, more than ten times. Yeah. Right, this is um. This is some bullshit. The fact that this is allowed, you know? The fact that the cops can't do anything or won't do anything. What up? How you doing, brother? We just talked to Auntie outside who had her car window broken in. Yeah, that's normal, man. Normal? Yeah, that's normal out here. Everyday occurrence? Real number one, bro. Don't leave your stuff in the car. Oh, yeah. You guys thought the Bippin' in San Francisco were bad? The Bippin' in Oakland and surrounding neighborhoods like Piedmont and Hayward and Berkeley, it's absolutely out of control. And while the police may not do anything if you break into someone's car, commit Grand Theft Auto, steal an ATM, or beat and rob an old lady on the street, if you park on the side of the street and don't pay the meter, you will be fined and punished. We got it. Y'all niggas is living in GTA in Oakland. <laughs> 
I am probably never stepping foot. Nah, let me stop because I might. <laughs> hey, my little one two up in Oakland for the one time, but I don't know if I'm spending the night. I can't. I gotta go home. A sixty-one dollar parking ticket. People can do fentanyl, poop on the streets, break into cars, shoot each other. No, no infractions. Uh, a little park too long. There's nowhere GTA. to park, park out here, by the way. While me complaining about this parking ticket may seem silly, it highlights a fundamental double standard in how citizens who cause no harm to others are punished and held accountable for breaking the rules, while violent criminals victimizing innocents every day are allowed to do whatever they want and face little to no consequences. But with all this crime and lawlessness, why do people still live here? Let's take a look at the beautiful skyline. This is the beauty of Oakland. What a nice place to live. Definitely. <laughs> I would definitely not raise a family here but I respect those who have the balls to do it. Oakland has better, sunnier weather than its older brother, San Francisco. It's more affordable, it's a cool cultural melting pot, and it's a quick 35 minute commute to San Francisco. With all these benefits, a lot of people wanna live here, even if they can't afford the median $2,255 per month in rent, leading countless to get priced out of their apartments and to set up tents wherever they can get away with it. And just underneath the bridge in this beautiful park, you'll find people living in tents, completely blocking the entire sidewalk. But before I talk to these people living under the bridge, I recently found out I was paying $13 a month for Duolingo, $12 a month for Crunchyroll, $50 a year for a sleep tracking app, and $100 a year for HBO Max that I don't even use anymore. And I only learned this because the sponsor of this video, Rocket Money. I signed up for Rocket Money, linked my bank. Tell y'all one thing, Rocket Money gonna tell you everything. It's gonna scare you. I don't use it. Nah, I use it. Rocket Money, holla at me. That's the gay y'all. No endorsement. email chains per year on... 700 if you want to save more and spend less and join the over 5 million members thing, using rocket money today <laughs> go to rocketmoney.com slash tyler Oliveira or click the link in the description to get started about. today for free thanks again rocket money and now back to oakland we're talking to folks out here in oakland and ended up on the streets you got any thoughts uh, i think it's it's a crazy lifestyle yeah it's something to get used to when you're not used to it i've been in a house my whole life and now like my house beans me. anybody that doesn't rent sure I have a trailer, and you get breaking it in two every week. Yeah. This the city does more damage than the people who are living on the streets. They wouldn't be on the streets if the community and the environment took care of each other. Uh, is it dangerous out here, or is it pretty it chill? It's very dangerous out here, especially at night. Okay. Yeah, I've been assaulted by a man. Um, he hit me five times in my face already. Cause I told him no, I, for a sexual favor, and he got mad. Ew. Is that a common situation out here? For women, yeah. Yeah. And I'm by myself, too. How are the cops out here? Do they help there you if you ask for help? Or? You call the cops, they don't come. Okay. Has Anybody the city ever... Yeah. I... Oh, yeah. A girl, a girl across the street. And, uh, there was a girl there all night long, and she was doing fentanyl. Yeah. And the guy that lives there tried to wake her up, and she, went, she was dead, and he put the body outside. The police came and got the body. Have you seen bodies out here in the water? Oh yeah, they they put them in the lake. They sweep the lake all the time for bodies. This yeah. is a common place to dump a body. But Mario, you live right over here? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it, you got shade at the very least. Shade, I mean, it's a killer site. You buy water, yeah. but it's just the thought of being outside, homeless, in a tent, somewhere where you're not supposed to be. Sure. It kind of sucks. How did you end up out here? Uh, I would say the lack of of help um proper resources yeah and then to the initiative to take you know the action on myself too choose to be homeless hey bro i'm not gonna lie uh i like his accountability i like that he homeless but you know why he homeless and he took accountability for it w accountability <laughs> he know he can fix it but he ain't got the energy to fix it hey at least he knows. Driven out by the pricing. Driven out by the pricing yeah. and just like bullshit. You know, a lot of, a lot of bullshit. Right. The cost of living is astronomical and working two jobs is still not a living wage. Some people say you need 400000 a year just to be middle class. How yeah. do you feel about the uh, social economics? Yeah, I want more 100% affordable housing. Yeah. yeah. Anything you want to say to the audience at home? Any advice for the kids or at home with their parents or any? Stay in school. Yeah. Don't, um... Don't do what I did, you know. Um, what did you do? How'd you end up out here? Um, well, I was a, I was the best kid, you know. I didn't listen to. I was adopted. I didn't okay. listen to my my family, you know. There, I went to Skyline. I never went, went to 
school for that whole period of the year and sure. um, Oakland Public School District expelled me and then my mom countersued, she won and then I, I got sent away. I got like Damn. kidnapped and taken against my will. Damn. Like, like one of those reformatory school things? Yes. Oh yes. shit, I've yeah. heard about that. Yeah. You know, like, it's like bag over your head, you wake up in the woods. Yep. yep. Have you had tents light up on fire out here? Damn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The whole, that whole bridge, somebody set a fire at one tent and that whole bridge lit up. Oh shoot, okay. They, they've come down here and tried to sweep? Yeah, but we wouldn't leave. Okay, and they just give up? Yes. Okay. <laughs> they, what do you do for food and water out here if you're immobile? Um, I normally go to the taco truck around the corner in Panhandle. Okay. And if someone has enough money, I'll do something strange for some change. I just yeah. hustle. But I get Something strange for some change. I get what? When you say strange for change, we're talking like sex work? Favors, yeah. yeah. You will accept yeah. housing if someone comes down from the city? Yes, I will accept housing if someone comes down from the city. Okay. I'm tired. I want to go inside. Do most people use out here? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately. A lot of people have, like, problems. Yeah. Mental problems. And, you know what I'm saying, some people are kind of, like, unstable in their own way because of the lack of clean medicine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they use what they use because it helps. They use it as a coping mechanism? Yeah, I've yeah. seen it. There's people out here with, you know what I'm saying? I have a friend that's autistic, and he uses that to kind of stabilize himself. Like, it's fucked up because of the dirt and the shit that's in it. Sure. And, and he, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I have. Um, just recently, man, um, a lady came over here. Yeah, nice time. And um, really kind of, she, she died. Like, right in front of you? Yeah. yeah. Is there a world where you move to just like a cheap town in the middle of the Midwest that costs 500 bucks a month? Not doing it. Why not? Because I, I love California. Yeah. And like that's that's the state that I want to live in. And I was born here. And, uh, and um, are you sober? Yeah. 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 Extremely disturbing to well, see so many encampments all throughout the city, not just in one particular neighborhood, but all throughout Oakland. It seems like the quality of life here is non-existent. Disease is rampant, and this is. What well, used to be a children's Damn. playground. This is Fallout 3. Not necessarily that is childproof insane, anymore. Bruh. So you guys understand, I've been to so many places at this point, I'm starting to lose my emotional sensitivity to what's going on here a little bit. I don't really know how to react anymore because Absolutely. at this point it's all starting to blend. I mean, this car is floating right now. Whoa. <laughs> what's going on? That is crazy. All right, let's take a look at this. You guys are about to have your mind blown. Hey, what up? Where are we at right now? We in Oakland, California. Okay, I just saw this car levitating. That's nah, why I walked that over here. Real life right levitating. Now? This is a park. Okay. Does the city come out here and say, "Hey, yeah, let's put you guys in the shelter," right there, or is it just like you're good to do whatever? Well, unfortunately, yeah. The city, the city, the city doesn't do don't, don't they, they don't they don't do much. Okay. They do keep the porta potties out. All right. That's that that keeps that keeps down the hips. When's the last time this place was swept? You yeah, know. You have to answer that one. It was a minute ago. The inconsistency right. between the corrupt nonprofits, they get billions of dollars, and the nonprofits who are actually helping people, they get pennies, if that. Isn't isn't that weird? The ones that are that's enabling, not weird. That's, 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 that's how that, they that, wanted that's, to go. That's how, that's how it is, so that they still get their, the other people still get their money, you that's know what I mean? That's the industry. Like, that's the industry, of course. They but. call it the homeless industrial complex. To, to, to live half comfortable, you have to be based on two incomes. Two incomes, easy. And that's the only way you do income. Two incomes. Right now, you think, guys are... Bro, I literally just said that the other day, bro. Like, hey. And they don't... They, it, like, it really don't matter what you do. Like, how I do this right now, like, like I still got to live off two incomes to survive in life. It's crazy out here. But, hey, man, you got to go get that money and put it up. Put it up, invest it. Find some other outlets to make some income. If you know that resource, like our buddy said at the beginning, he knew the re But I, I will say, I like how some of these people on here taking accountability. Because some of them know that it's their fault. But, like, bro, you, if you don't got no knowledge, Honestly, I say go teach yourself some knowledge. It shouldn't be a day going by where, like, if you don't know something, that you ain't teaching yourself something. As long as you got this right here, as long as you got this right here, bro, you got you a cell phone, go get you some knowledge. You got you some access to some internet, go get you some knowledge. You don't even really need no access to no internet. Go outside, talk to people, get you some knowledge.
You're doing better than the city. Yeah. Some people hey. are working. That means a lot. Read the like, book. You know, there's a thing called con uh, control chaos. Yeah. Like, you know, a random person will just come like and, and, and start like dumping trash themselves or start a yeah. fire or, you know what I mean? And then they'll be like, oh yeah, but, bad. yeah, but half the time it ain't even us. It's people who are like, just like this, cause I've seen it. A fireman running in between like, you know, and I'm thinking on Wood Street, what the hell is that guy doing running between front line and back line? Nobody sees this guy? Okay, cool, boom. 30 minutes later, boom, there's a fire. Right, so the firemen come, I mean, because uh, when they're going to homeless camp, because there's sirens, it only goes like, woo, woo. got it. It's a low rear, you know what I mean? R yeah, real low. If you notice, they're going to homeless camp. Yeah. It's not really. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's DJ fire truck. Please do not park <laughs> DJ blocking fire this truck. driveway. Thank you. Zoom out a little bit. Look what we see. They are making it home right here. Yes. Lakeisha, how do you like Oakland? Um, it's a happening place, independent city, you know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Do you feel safe living here? Um, um that's a good question. Yeah, it's fair. It's fair question. Yeah, really very fair. All right. For the cops out here. They're all right. They're, They're all right. right. They're all right by me. Yeah. Can they do anything? About this? Yeah. Lawlessness? No, they really can't. No. This is a spiritual warfare. This is a job for God and his soldiers. Yeah. Lakeisha, it's been yeah. an honor. My pleasure, anytime. Tread guys. safely. Ashante, merci beaucoup. Oh, right. Oh, he does love that. Shit. I love that. He's bilingual. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. He knows some. Do, like do a little bit more. Do a little... <laughs> Wait, you like that? I love Wait, that. Wait, have you guys shaken hands? Hell, I love it. It's nice to Shake meet hands. you. Come Very on nice now. to meet you. Give me some sugar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get, get over there! I got, I got a horrible. I got a horrible. Get over there! Give her a hug. Yeah, he's playing. He's doing that hot. That yeah, nigga said. <laughs> thank you so much, gentlemen. All right, thank you. Are we gonna get a kiss on the camera here? Or what? Whoa! <laughs> Do you think he's sexy? <laughs> he's sexy, is he? Man, he's more than sexy. Right. Well, God bless you, sister. Well, I appreciate the you. interview. You want a six? Or love, man, we and both. Oh. Homelessness is rampant in the streets of Oakland, but how did it get to this point? The crack era, which took place in the 80s, essentially the war on drugs back then really ignited a lot of uh, chaos in the community, which of course led to more families struggling. The suffering that took place in the 80s led to an initiative to redevelop Oakland in the 90s. So in the 90s, a lot of revitalization started to take place, investments in the communities, and this led to a flourishing uh, art and music scene which led to Oakland and the San Francisco Bay Area at large to become the cultural capital of the world and of course this also led to a renaissance uh, in the 90s with all the internet and the technology Steve Jobs how did we get from Steve Jobs to stealing ATM machines with Ch whoa Steve Jobs from Oakland I did not know that Oh my God, no deep McDonald's. Deep this place deep. used to be the cultural capital of the West Coast. Now, lawlessness and despair. But there's some cool neighborhoods. That's what you describe Oakland as. Hi. She's pissed. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Can, sister, can we interview you? Wait a second. That hurt. I know it hurt, but. And it hurt to a death because I'm a black woman. Okay. You were upset a little bit. It's yeah. all love. It's all love. I'm not trying to piss anyone off. Okay. We're here with you now. Okay. And you're from Oakland? Yeah. Okay. So I struck an emotional chord. For sure. Talk to me. Talk to me. Yeah. My name is Jolie Zardrevich. Okay. Um, the Bay Area knows me. I don't even need to the introduction. Right. Um, I'm the co-developer underneath the Black Panther leader. So when you... I was going to ask, do y'all know who this lady is? But she cooking right now. I'm going to let her cook. I'm going to let her cook. Y'all probably know who she is. Y'all know about to cook me in the comments. Said, the like despair and, and loss cook. in this city. Yeah. Um, the crime is because people are homeless. We are stealing basic necessities. Sure. People are bipping into cars because they are on the street. So I wouldn't necessarily consider it to be crime. When you describe the city as craziness, I wouldn't put it as the word craziness. I would look at it as there's a political system where we've never had access to the rightful money that we're Social supposed to be at. Very much so. Sure. And you can see the political leaders around here pretty much not giving a f about what 100%. we're doing. And the very first people that they say, oh, there's this big crime surge is what they categorize as these black super predators. Okay. These young black men and black women who are on the streets struggling. Help help me understand Oakland a little bit more besides just like lawlessness and crime, because there is a little bit of that. We can't deny that, right? 
Personally, yeah. I don't look at a crime. If you're going into Target, a multi-billion dollar company, and stealing clothes, it's not a crime. You're resourceful. Not a crime? Hell no. You're resourceful. This true. You're homeless. Yeah, that's where street. we disagree, I think. You've yeah. been you've been displaced. I mean, because you're white then, and I'm black. Then, There's a that's whole not true. other socio That's not true. That's not true. It is a crime. It is a crime. I think my blackness kicked in and I was like, damn, that's not a crime. <laughs> it is damn sure a crime. Economical okay. piece that I have never had access to. So you can go into any single place and put your name on a piece of paper, yeah. apply for that job. You're not worried about if your name sounds too black. You're not worried about if when you show up, you uh, got she's not cooking no more. Because it's it. inappropriate. Question for you Is it different being a white dude versus a black dude versus a Mexican versus an Asian here in Oakland? Everybody do the same thing, man. Same shit, Everybody do the same thing. Right. It's just that um, Asians, Hispanics, they stick together. Okay. Yeah, blacks they kind of like you said, but blacks they like crabs. They don't want to see, you know. They, that's true. Crabs in the bucket. Crabs in the bucket. What about the whites? They're just dying their hair blue. They trying to y'all trying to everything. Y'all trying to fit in, man. They're trying to fit in. <laughs> Target enslaved my ancestors a year ago. Target. Target. What did Target if we, do? If we really Target? want to break down every yeah. single break system down, that has truly impoverished our community, okay. enslaved us taking money from our yeah. families and then displaced us as if now we're the burden to this entire city that was once 40% black. Sure, huh? but what did Target do and at what point do we not uphold any values? That's a good question, what did Target do? At what point do we not yeah. uphold Target to then give back all of their funds that they can easily give back? But if we like, steal from Target, then we steal from CBS, then we steal from Walmart, and then the Walmart's but we leave, but black and then all we have- it, But we built it. No, 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 but then all we have are corner stores in Oakland when we run out all these large businesses, it's right? Like, our uh, corner stores are mom and pop's own. They're black and brown sure. owned. We don't steal from our corner stores. That's the crazy part. Oh, hey, hey, I'm not gonna lie. See, when I was growing up in Baltimore and we had the Freddie Gray riot, them niggas was damn sure stealing from the corner store. <laughs> them niggas told the fuck out of them. Dude, yeah, y'all, y'all niggas saw it. Y'all niggas saw it. It was on your news. It was on your TV. It was on your timeline. I saw it in 4K. Them niggas was tearing the neighborhood the fuck up. I was like, damn, nigga. I get you tearing up the white man store, but why you come tear up the black people store, man? Even if it ain't black people working in that nigga, why you tearing up the stuff in the neighborhood, nigga? Can't go pick up some snacks. So we making a statement. Security footage shows a man walking into Ideal Market in Oakland, and seconds nah, still later, still in the cash register. The store's is insane, ATM. nigga. This ain't barber shop. PM Thursday night, while the store was still open, with an employee inside. We have ATM as a convenience for the neighborhood for the customers that come here. Nigga but to the ATM. Yeah, let's take Walmart's in Chicago. Okay. They're gone. Why are they gone? Yo, I'm not gonna lie. From the way I'm thinking. I feel like it'd be stupid to take an ATM in 2024. For one, high techness. And I'm pretty sure by now. I'm pretty sure by now, nigga, they emptied them. Uh, people stealing from Walmart. Why did Walmart come into an urban city already and displace thousands of black people in an area where we needed housing first? Once I'm we have housing, wrong. you can sustain yourself but from nigga. there on in. Walmart. I we're also in a generation where people do as trends. Honestly, I, I used to steal from stores. Do uh, like whites stick together, blacks stick together, the Hispanics and Asians stick together, or is everyone just chill with each other? Everyone's just people, but the blacks are the the Nigga, ash that cigarette. Race in the community, okay. but shit comes in all colors. There's good people in every race, and there's bad people in every race. 100. percent That's facts. We don't facts. have time for racism. It's a long forgotten historical memory. I agree that someone should not be defined by a felony conviction or a crime yeah. or a past status, but we shouldn't glorify or promote or allow that to be the case, right? Like, yeah. if you need food, maybe maybe we make food banks more available, but but robbing the, the corner store or the target's not the solution, right? But the solution was never allowing for those businesses to ever come into flourishing, knowing okay. that number one, this was first native land, Ohlone land and we've killed almost 33 different tribes. And then you've taken Africans and brought them all through the country and pretty much exploited our bodies, our minds, and our spirits to create a Target, to create a Walmart, to create these banks that then further okay. and exploit us. So yes, I'm not saying it's a right thing to do, but these big corporations yeah. have the power to change.
Sure. That's the fucked up part, and they're not willing to change anything. Can you can you explain to me what it is to be a black woman in America, 2024? I'm black, I'm a woman, and I'm a worker, and okay. I'm queer. So I've got four different oppressional systems already fighting against me. I was raised by two white Caucasian parents. Okay. They abused me. They okay. really broke me down. Damn. You would say I had a chance at life, but the people who were there to actually give me that life didn't give me that chance. But you said the word hope. I used to tell that to myself as I was at a bus stop wondering what my next meal was gonna be. And I said, hope, I gotta be more than this. this hey bro, I'm gonna give y'all some free game. If somebody try, ever try to break you down in life, don't let them break you down. Cause if they broke you down, then they won. You go out there in life and make the best you can make out of yourself. Out of like real free game, bro. Like, make the best out of yourself you can be. If you got any dreams, aspirations in life, any hope for yourself, just keep on hoping. Keep putting that hard work in. Stay dedicated. Ain't no telling what you could be. You could be the next president. You could be the next doctor. You could be the next content creator. You could be the next rapper. You could be the next singer. I might be pushing it, but look, you can be whatever you put your mind to as long as you work hard, you have some faith in yourself, you keep God first, and you put that work in, and you stay focused and committed. But nah, though, you, you had it. Ain't nothing better than having self love for yourself. Once you love yourself, anything is possible. You gotta have that true passion for yourself though. For you have that passion for anything else. Spark your own light. Spark your own light. This cannot be it. Well, this lady obviously wants the best for her community. When you have local rapping legends like the Jacka shot in the head while being in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people back in 2015, it's clear that senseless violence I feel here what in she's Oakland saying. does not discriminate on who it victimizes. He's yanking his stuff right in the middle of the street. Oh yeah. Might not Damn. be safe to do that. It's actually a in the middle of the street. Uh, and might be down to do the interview, but it doesn't seem like she's in this dimension right now. She's in the middle of the road, sure. which is a clear sign of, of psychosis or some kind of mental disability. Uh, I'm not a question. doctor. Oh, let's center this for a minute. Why are people? Why isn't she in a psych ward? And since the law is barely enforced or punished, it slowly becomes Damn. free game for looting, break-ins, and theft. Also, if you're at the airport, do not leave your luggage behind. It may be somewhere out here Letting like this. Stole luggage? Somewhat unavoidable. Damn, they even got a fridge. Nah, Brand fridge, new fridge. Crazy. Check this out. But luckily, the few rare nonprofits and organizations still trying to make a change. What are you guys up to? Hey, man, just, you know, I was the Salvation Army, you know what I mean? All right, on. You guys want to share anything? W organization, bro. Hey, man, what's going on in Oakland, man? It's yeah. A travesty, man. Yeah, I agree. With all this homelessness going on, man, I really hope that, uh... My boy on the right really speaking some game and telling what the organization is for. Dude on the left, he like, it's camera real. Ha <laughs> ha! From that man, I'm about to get a high beat on the motherfucker right quick. Yeah, me pop my peace. You have a news to spend that billion dollars well, you know what I'm saying, okay. to take care of the homeless, you know. We're on the 20-year anniversary of his 10-year plan to solve homelessness in California. Billions of dollars later, the situation has only gotten worse. What's going on, brother? What's going on is uh, these rules and regulations that they're stipulating on the homeless, you know what I mean? There's a lot of drug and mental problems going on right Hell now. Hell yeah. Now, they didn't take care like, of that yeah. first the before they do anything. Army's I was out here before. Now I'm at a Salvation Army. There's a lot of sober people out here, actually. They don't they don't smoke cigarettes or drink. They're they're sober and they're oh, out man. here. They got, they got the image that they W do. transition, though. It's too high, I guess. Rent is to, is to work. It's hard to get jobs. It's hard to do a lot of things out here without having the actual knowledge and structure to do it. It's, it's, In the early said if you guys um, are hurting and struggling, that's, that's facts, a male uh, arc. That's so why I say what I say the other arc that we have. Sometimes you got to give yourself that knowledge. But uh, you, if you can come right in. We can do the paperwork for you. Located here at what? 601, 601 Weber Street, Oakland, California. Okay. You know what I mean? While saving the city can seem like an uphill battle, this is a fight worth fighting both here and every other community suffering similar problems. While billions of dollars have been spent, and with the problems facing Oakland only seeming to get worse, Damn. addressing the problems what was your he dragging? faces, holding your local politicians accountable, and having the courage to speak up when the opinion is unpopular is critical to continue living in communities worth living in. Next speaker, please. Oh shit, there he is, there he is. Good afternoon, San Francisco supervisors. <laughs> Stand before you today of uh, the heavy heart. 
as I speak about something that's really important to me and probably every mother and father in our community and that is the presence of fentanyl on our playgrounds and in our schools. I implore you to take divisive and decisive action. A lot of the people who are ransacking our grocery stores, who are breaking into our apartments, my apartment's been broken into three times. Three? I've had to waken up to burglars kicking in my door and fighting off burglars with my own two bare hands while my girl's screaming bloody murder. And that's happened more than once, more than I care to remember. And I'm just wondering Strap. if the people on top of the hill, living on top of the hill, have ever had they to fight cut you for their off. Life. Yeah, wow, man. No, they cut him off, words, man. I was wondering, you know, if people nah, living on top of the hill ever had man. to fight for their lives. He had the microphone to what? He was cooking. Man was cooking, and they cut him off. See, they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. That's fucked up, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That is damn. They could have let my boy cook. The lack of leadership in San Francisco, the chaos in San Francisco is having a negative impact on Oakland and they have become intertwined. Both communities have reached terminal velocity in their collapse and they're kind of just doing like a, a death spiral. If you want to stay up to date on the Bay Area, go follow Darren at Darren Stahl Cup on Twitter and thanks for watching. There'll be a video.